Prosecutors allege that Sean Diddy Combs has been attempting to influence witnesses and public opinion from jail in a bid to sway potential jurors ahead of his upcoming trial on sex trafficking charges. In a recent court filing, they urged a Manhattan federal judge to deny Combs' latest request for bail, which includes a $50 million proposal. A hearing on the matter is scheduled for next week. The filing details accusations that Combs 55 has used recorded jail calls to instruct family members to contact potential witnesses and victims. Prosecutors claim he encouraged them to shape narratives aimed at influencing public perception in the jury pool. Additionally, Combs allegedly strategized marketing efforts to sway opinions outside the courtroom. Even while in custody, the defendant has shown a blatant disregard for rules, making repeated attempts to manipulate the outcome of his case. His actions demonstrate that he cannot be trusted to comply with any conditions of release, prosecutors argued in their submission. They suggested his behavior indicates an effort to silence or coerce victims and witnesses, possibly through intimidation or blackmail. Combs' legal team has not yet commented on the accusations. Uh, he Combs might... Prosecutors also stated that Combs has consistently violated regulations since his detention at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, where he has been held since his arrest in September. Combs has pleaded not guilty to charges accusing him of leading a years-long campaign of coercion and abuse against women, allegedly supported by a network of associates. Prosecutors further allege that he silenced victims through blackmail, violence, kidnapping, and arson. Two judges have already ruled him a flight risk and a danger to the community. His legal team recently submitted a third bail request, citing new evidence and claiming that his release would allow better preparation for his trial, scheduled for May 5th. However, prosecutors contend the so-called new evidence was already available during previous bail applications and argued that Combs' conduct in jail justifies continued detention. For instance, They claim that Combs orchestrated a social media campaign around his birthday while in custody instructing family members to post celebratory videos designed to influence potential jurors. Prosecutors allege he even monitored analytics and engagement from jail, providing feedback to ensure the posts had the desired effect. Additionally, Combs is accused of attempting to anonymously publish information intended to bolster his defense and of persistently contacting potential witnesses, including alleged victims who could testify against him. The defendant's actions show a consistent effort to interfere with the integrity of this case, prosecutors concluded.